The chimes are Cornell University's oldest tradition. The original bells first played on campus on October 7, 1868, nearly 150 years ago. The chimes were given by Jenny McGraw, daughter of John McGraw, one of the founding trustees. The chimes were originally located right about here near the clock tower on a temporary wooden playing stand. They were then moved to McGraw Hall on the art squad before eventually being moved to the clock tower when it was built in 1891. Historian Morris Bishop said that the Cornell chimes were the first chimes to peel out over an American campus. The clock tower is 173 feet tall, or as students count it, 161 steps. We know the bells are at the top, but what's in the rest of the building? Let's check out the third floor. Hi, Marissa. Hey, Corey. How are you? This is Marissa LaFalse, the Chimes Program Coordinator. Can you tell us a little bit about where we are? Sure. You're in the practice room. And these are the practice chime stands. Chimes masters practice about an hour and a half for each concert that they play. The west wall of the third floor actually has signatures and little writing and blurbs by Chimes Masters from decades ago. In fact, right here you can see war was declared today, April 6th, 19, or April 18th, 1917. Any member of the Cornell community can apply to be a Chimes Master. There's an audition process held every spring that takes approximately 10 weeks. How hard can it really be, though? Excuse me? Who are you? Uh, I'm Corey Ryan Earl, class of 2007. Who are you? I'm Charlie Shu, class of 2016, um, and I'm also a Cornell Chimes Master. Do you have a favorite song? Um, personally, my favorite song is probably Can't Take My Eyes Off of You by Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. Well, let's hear it. Sure. <laughs> or an engineer, a townie or from Thailand, the chimes are the soundtrack for the Cornell University experience. They rang for Cornellians nearly 150 years ago and they'll probably be ringing for Cornellians 150 years from now when the class of 2165 arrives on campus. Now if you'll excuse me, I have some work to do.